Dave Porter with Valve Video. When it comes to heating contractors, air conditioning contractors, I could not be standing with a better heating and air pro. I'm with Jim from AccuTech Heating and Air. Your company has been recognized throughout the industry as one of the best. Well, as a company, we've been doing this for just over 30 years. As AccuTech, we're in our 12th year. We have the capability of doing everything from the design to the construction, to the installation, to the service. Uh, that's residential and light like commercial. Uh, residentially, we can do anything from the smallest of apartment units to the largest of uh, mansions and, and high-end custom homes that involve multi-conventional systems, multi-geothermal systems, radiant floor heating, and anything in between. Commercially, we do mainly preventative maintenance and renovation retrofit commercially for office buildings, churches, restaurants, things of that nature. Jim, what do you contribute some of your success to? Our company has a philosophy that service is an attitude. And we do everything possible to try and accommodate the needs of our customers. We, we try not to sell them anything. We educate them on what they have, what they should have, and how they should look to improve upon what they have and give them the reasons why. But we, we never try to sell anything. We're, we're trying to accommodate their need. Maybe you share maybe what you're seeing, some of these trends that are happening in, out there in the industry. The systems that we install in most of the higher end homes are the geothermal systems at this time, mainly because they really see the benefits of, of geothermal equipment versus conventional equipment. But it's, it's a very costly investment. Leading up to that, now we have a lot of the conventional equipment that's coming up on the much higher efficiencies, operating efficiencies than they did in the past. Even your heat pumps today, they used to be a, a no-no in this area over the years, but now they're, they're very efficient and they're competing with a lot of your, your gas, certainly with your oil equipment, but with your, uh, your gas and your propane equipment in terms of the heating as well as the air conditioning. So um, there's a lot of things happening in this industry and as far as uh, controls go, thermostats and such, they're changing almost weekly. That's how quick it's, it's evolving because of the, uh, the wireless and, uh, and Wi-Fi capabilities. When it comes to service area, I know you provide services throughout Bucks and Montgomery County. Are there other areas that you're traveling to? We do Bucks and Montgomery County as well as Delaware, Chester, and Philadelphia. Our primary service area is a 15 mile radius of central Bucks County. Why do people need heating and air maintenance plans, even on residential. I get it on commercial, maybe to a certain degree, but maybe you can explain that to me. Preventative maintenance plans serve a multitude of purposes, but primarily it keeps your equipment running efficiently. The operating efficiency is, is paramount to most people and uh, understandably so with the cost of energy today. We can't stress enough how important preventative maintenance is to residential equipment. It's more than just changing a filter. It, it has to do with changing filters, it has to do with checking amp draws, checking refrigerant pressures, checking gas pressures, checking flu, checking all parts of a heating and air conditioning system that the customer most times will not even think about. Uh, they're vitally important and they add to the efficiency of the equipment and the peace of mind of the equipment. And when it comes to finding a heating and air contractor here in Bucks, Montgomery County and the surrounding areas, you could not have a better protocol. They'll actually pick up the phone for you, uh, give Jim and, and the team here a call. You want to go with a trusted and established local business owner that has the history and experience, especially when it comes to this category. Thanks again, Jim. Thank you. I appreciate it.